This is Joseph Drust, and welcome back to another episode of Ask ZBrush. So we had a question sent in asking what file formats can be imported and exported from ZBrush? So this is a good question. ZBrush can import and export multiple file formats, and they're done through a few different menus inside of ZBrush. So the most common formats that can be imported are the OBJ file format, the STL format, FBX, and PLY. For exporting, the most common ones are OBJ, STL, FBX, PLY, and VRML. So those are the core ones that can be imported and exported. Now to import or export these different options, I'm going to run through how to do this inside of ZBrush here. So to start off, I just have a PolyMesh 3D star here. And underneath the tool palette, we have two buttons over here for import and export. Now these two options here will allow you to import OBJ file format. So if I just simply click on import, it'll open up a window like so. And you can see I can select from these different file formats right here. Now the most common is the OBJ file format, but you can also import in Maya MA files as well. So you can just click the OBJ and then just click your OBJ and it's going to load that file right in. Underneath the tool palette as well, you have the export option. And through here, you can export out that OBJ file format along with the Maya one as well, which are the two common ones here. One thing to note with the OBJ file format on export, will also retain vertex color information or poly paint information on your model. So you need to export out the vertex colors you can select the OBJ format, and if your model has PolyPaint on the mesh inside of ZBrush, it'll export out that data as well. Now the next file format that's often used is the STL file format. So if I navigate up here to the Z plugin tab and then open up the 3D print exporter, in here we have the ability to import in STLs through this menu here. You can also export out STLs VRMLs and OBJs from this menu as well. Now, if you're looking for color information to send to 3D printing, this VRM file format here will use that polypane information and embed it into the mesh so it can be used on color 3D printers. Next, we have the FBX file format. So if I just open up here, you can see we have the FBX export import option here. And this will allow you to export out FBX and import FBX. Now, if I just quickly come through and just import an FBX file here, you'll notice that this format also retains that vertex color or poly paint information. So if you have any color information on your model, you can export it out as an FBX and then bring it back in and it'll retain that color eyes or vertex color information. Finally, there is a separate plugin that you can download that will allow you to export and import the PLY format and I'll post a link to this plugin underneath this video. So this will allow you to import or export PLY. And if I just import a PLY file here, you'll see that file will load in as well and it will retain vertex color or poly paint information on the mesh as well. So another good option if you need to export or import color data with your models from ZBrush. So those are the main import and export file formats that are often used inside of ZBrush. So once again, for importing, you have the OBJs, which can be done through the tool palette over here. You have STLs, which can be done through the 3D print exporter. You have FBXs, which can be done through the FBX export import. And you have PLY, which can be done through the PLY format plugin. For exporting, we have the OBJs, which can be done from the tool palette over here. We have the STLs and VRML files, which can be done through the 3D print exporter, FBX through the FBX export importer, and PLYs through the PLY format plugin. So that's the quick rundown of the import and export options that are available inside of ZBrush. So if you have any additional questions on pipelines or processes inside of ZBrush, please use the hashtag AskZBrush on Twitter. Happy ZBrushing!